Capital City watch a new push to replace sweet gum trees around the capital city. Residents say they are clogging sewer drains and causing massive flooding. News Channel 20's Jordan Elders working for you with what city leaders plan to do. Jordan. These are sweet gum balls. They fall from the trees onto your yard, your sidewalk, and potentially into your sewer drain. City leaders and residents say it's time to do something about these trees for the sake of our sewer system. Raining sweet gum balls are causing a reign of terror on some Springfield neighborhoods. They're yeah. just everywhere. We first introduced you to Michelle Hagley and her husband in late February. Their front door camera capturing these startling images during a rainstorm. And this is what's left when that flood water finally goes down. Hundreds, if not thousands, of gumballs. They have a tendency to, uh, to collect on the drains, and which block the drains, which lead to street flooding. Vince Smith with the City Sewer Division says they have to take their vacuum trucks out to this neighborhood and others to help clear the backup. Would that make your life easier if we remove these trees? Yes. <laughs> it definitely would. And that's exactly what some residents want to do. I'd like to see them taken down, but I'd like to see them replaced, but not with gumball trees. But also, most of all, I do not want the homeowners to have to pay to have the trees taken down. The city used to have a program where you could pay $250 to get your sweet gum tree replaced with a cleaner one. And Alderman Ralph Hanauer wants to bring that back. My intent would be to get uh, about 250,000 in ARPA money, that's that's roughly 200 trees. You know, I think it's a good start. Between the gumballs and the sewers, residents say it's time for the city to step up. I just want them taken care of. Now, not everyone is ready to get rid of their sweet gum tree just yet, and city leaders say they are aware of this. But they do say it's time to give an option to the people who are tired of dealing with this very big, yet very little problem. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder. Back to you in studio. All right, thank you, Jordan. Now, Springfield recently wrapped up a tree inventory. A company surveyed and documented all trees on city-owned property in the northeast section of town.